While plasmoids were gouging the planet Mars during the exodus, the same process was occurring on Earth. Plasmoids of stupendous size defaced the Earth's surface with fissures, cracks, and trenches. Job witnessed the destruction. Given the scale of the electrical exchanges between the two planets, the scarring would be tremendous in size and not easily erasable by erosion. In other words, thousands of years after an event like the Exodus, the scars would remain and, like Valles Marineris, would be visible even from great distances. Valles Marineris, for example, is well preserved and so large that it is easily visible from Earth with a 16-inch telescope. Effects on Earth should also remain from the exodus. From a view on the ground, electrical scarring does not necessarily look like electricity was involved. At ground level, the Grand Canyon does appear to the untrained eye to have been created by the Colorado River. But when seen from space, it becomes immediately recognizable as an electrical scar. The only caution would be that the crucifixion event would have created additional scarring after the exodus. Discerning which scar belongs to which event is difficult, if not impossible at this point. But whichever event created the scarring on Earth, the scars would look the same. Terrestrial electrical scarring is not transparent from ground level. However, again, from the vantage point of space, vast fields of electrical scarring appear across the globe. Closer views reveal even more extensive scarring. There's almost no portion of the Earth's surface that was not touched by an electrical discharge, primarily from Mars. The dust, gravel, and rock from Mars enveloped Earth in a blanket of red. It was at this time that the Red Sea received its name. The effects of the plague are still visible today. Swaths of red soil and sand cover wide regions of Earth. Each are directly and visibly connected with regions of electrical scarring. The Four Corners area of the western United States is a prime example. The area has numerous national parks and natural monuments characterized by electrical scarring in red earth.